funny is I got tagged you know in so many stupid videos by some of their hosts. Like, oh, they tried to run Chuck out. Chuck, your caller, your, your like, clean up hitter caller was garbage. Well, where's Chuck at this morning? I got an open line for him. I'll give Chuck the bat line. Yeah, give Chuck Let me hear the bat line. Hey, where's, where's Sports Radio 94 WIP? Call our show now. I don't see any Eagle fans in the chat. I don't see any fans. But you know what? We got an Eagles fan oh, on the line. Oh, I would like to hear from him. We got an Eagles fan on the line. Let's get to Matt and Philly. Probably Matt and Philly, then we'll get to Dennis and Gene. After he left the link early. <laughs> Matt and Philly, what's oh happening? Oh, my gosh. I had to call back. I, you, guys are, you guys are acting like this is your Super Bowl. Act like you've been there before. Come on, Bonte and Chassie. We talked last year before the NFC Championship game. I give it to you. You guys came to play. But don't act like... Don't act like, you know, that was the biggest thing in your life. No, it's we not. No, it's not. No, it's a war- season no, win, no. You got to listen better. No, Matt, Matt, if you look at my timeline, it's a warning shot is what it is. It's not the end-all, be-all. It's a warning shot. All right, but don't come at the fans, dude. So, so okay. On a your fans night, suck. Get- I don't care about you. Get out of here. Get you guys out of left here. early. Get out of here. I thought you're the best. Uh, let's go to Dennis in Jersey. Dennis in Jersey. What's happening? You're getting run if you come in with that wax stuff, Eagles fans. Don't I don't care about your fans. fans. Don't come at the fans. No, screw your fans. Screw your fans. You're booing them at halftime. I love yeah, you're, 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 I, You guys are the most passionate fans. You're booing your 10-1 football team at halftime. You know, Have some class. My favorite image of the weekend is just the doofus I, I, that's the only way I can describe him. Sirianni, what are you doing? Fourth quarter, you're down 22. Your guys already went to the blue tent. He went into the locker room. They took his helmet away from him. The game is over. over. And, and you put Jalen Hurts back in the game. I, If I was a Philly fan and an Eagle fan, I get it. The guys would be good. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got After a game against Dallas. all of the amount of hard-hitting games you've played in in the last three weeks, you're going to run that guy back out there, and then you're starting running back, who's had a great year, with minutes to go in that game of a blowout game, gets almost decapitated. What are you doing? Well, what, I don't know what he was that doing. That was foolish. No, Italian but, Philly coach? Their offensive game plan was foolish. Their offensive game plan was foolish. I mean, Jalen Hurts dropped back 45 times yesterday. 45 times. Uh, uh, they gave DeAndre Swift six carries. They got pass happy for what reason? I have no idea. But the, you got you, We can't run here. If they score a touchdown on one of those first two possessions, maybe this is a different football game. I have no idea. Maybe. But the Niners, yeah. hey, but now was the difference in the first half. Niners, two red zone trips, two touchdowns. Eagles, two red zone trips, two field goals. Well, well you can keep them. And, and what we say, the key to me was third and long and second and long. If you keep them in third and long, and they were in third and long a lot, third and fives, yeah. third and sixes, third and nines. Now you eliminate the tush push. But, but, but B, I think this goes back to Shanahan. Shanahan thoroughly outcoached him. Oh, From the second no. quarter on, it was curtains. Think about what they did to Hassan Reddick on the two touchdown plays where they used his own aggression against yep. him to set up big-time chunk yep. plays. Think about what they did in the red zone to Ayuk, taking advantage of the offsides play by Sweat. They rolled him out, and they had all three right. guys as the trips, and it was a wide open. Shanahan, is, they showed the highlight, right. and, and Shanahan's on the sideline, and you see he goes, touchdown. You could see his own lips. Yep, no he doubt. knew if Purdy knew threw it. to Ayuk, it's a touchdown. It was. Sirianni has screens, slants, and broken plays. Yeah, no doubt. I saw they, yesterday. I saw nothing from him. No, they they got out coached. They got out coached. And if you keep them in third and long situations, you eliminate the most unstoppable play in football, which is the brotherly shove, aka the just push. They ran it once at the goal line. They scored. They got a big time push. Well, but he, however, he walked in. But however, I mean, he walked, he walked in. in. I mean, seriously, he was standing. He didn't even hit the ground. Jason but Kel- you kept, Kelsey's just, he's so good. But you kept him out of that. Yes. You kept him. And I will take my chances. Although they converted a lot of third and sevens, including A.J. Brown on yeah. the first third yeah, down yeah. there where he goes for 37 yards. Jair Brown's got to make that tackle. you got to make that tackle. Make it a 12-yard game, yep. not a 37-yard game. But for the most part, I'm with the you, Eagles, you're right. every single possession, were facing third longs. And I will take my chances with this defense defending against a third and seven, a third and six, because all of a sudden the play passes. Uh, you, you can't run the ball there. And Greg Olsen kept talking about it. The thing with the Eagles is when they're in the third and five, they still keep the run and play. Yeah. I expect the next time around that these two teams meet that the Eagles will try to commit to the run a little bit more, and they'll take their chances with the run game. You can't be dropping back 45 well, times against the 49ers. No, you can't. And you referenced the, the couple of the missed tackles. I thought early in the game what flipped the field was that A.J. Brown little screen. It was just a simple little screen. He just whoop, kept going. But the Niners adjusted, and I thought they did a really good job mixing up their coverages, and I love the way that he mixed up the spy. I'm telling yeah. you, I saw Warner spine. I saw Gibson spine. Yep. I saw Greenlaw spine. Steve Wilkes did a really good job mixing up how they were sending blitzes, who was dropping back. 
I, and, I, and obviously the secondary played outstanding. I do want to ask Baldy tomorrow when he joins us about the pass rush. Was it their strategy? Was it their assignment? I thought they were trying to, to make him a, a pocket a, a quarterback. A pocket quarterback and not just rush with their heads cut off? Because early on, I saw Lane Johnson getting into Nick Bosa. I'm like, Nick Bosa, you got to wake up, buddy. I thought Bosa battled but, hard. He battled. The but, spin move was sick. Yeah, but, but Lane Johnson was in his – dude, he was – But it hurts drops you know, back like – like 13 yeah, yards. Yeah, that's why I want to know. Play. I want to know what the what the strategy there, what the defensive line was. They held containment, which is great. You kept them in the pocket, which is awesome. I'm not the hugest fan of letting the quarterback sit back there and have all the time in the world. You're asking a lot for your secondary to cover for six yeah. seconds at a time against Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. But I, thought, I don't like that. You see, I, I was going to say, it just seems to me, if the slant or the screen isn't there, He's not the greatest intermediate passer, Jalen Hurts. He'll hit you with the deep ball. Right. He'll hit you with the broken play. Intermediate. Like, did he nail one intermediate layered throw yesterday? Nah, he couldn't. He couldn't. It was great defense. That's the essence great of defense. quarterbacking. It's great like, defense. That's, to me, if you want to be a great quarterback, it's the intermediate layered they, throws. But they really don't run a lot of that I stuff. know. They don't run that's a lot a, of that stuff. A, so, no, you're right. Uh, let's you're go right. to Uncle Gene. Uncle Gene right. in Oakland. Uncle Gene, what's happening? Hey, fellas. Uh, hey, I hope some Philly fans are listening because I wrote a little poem for them. Uh-oh. Called, I love it. Ode to, Ode, Ode to Philly fans, okay? Uh, you guys have any holiday music queued up for me? Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> we were, we were doing it. Hey, hey, cue up the holiday spot. You're listening to 95.7 The Game. Uncle Gene, KG and ZFM and AC1 San Francisco. I love you, Always live on the free Odyssey app. Download the Odyssey oh app at favorite 95.7 The Game for the best and most up-to-date sports coverage. Don't forget, you can also watch us every single day on our YouTube and Twitch streams. Just log out and search 95.7 The Game. Be sure to okay. like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. This is a Monster Monday with Uncle Gene brought to you by First hey, Life yeah. California. They'll learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress, go to first5california.com. Hey. Spinoni, you got it rolling? Yeah, the, the Bay's got talent. Here we go, Uncle Gene. It's all yours. There we go. All right. There we go. Hey, Philly fan, come on. Act like a man. Our nine has just crushed your Super Bowl plans. <laughs> you trash talk Debo. Then he ran and he ran straight to the end zone over and over again. <laughs> you love Hassan Reddick. But we think he's pathetic. All his trash talk and cheap shots just gives us a headache. You thought you were tough, thought you could take it. But by the end of the third, you folded just like a blanket. Now a message from Santa Claus for you miserable slob. Happy holidays till next month when we finish the job. (laughs) Remember, boys and girls, payback is a bitch. (laughs) The end. <laughs> oh, I love you, Gene. He may be, he may be calling it here. He may be calling it here. Spoken I word mean, jingle. That I was mean, unreal. That was um, Cut that out right now. Oh my they god! They sent it to WIP. Hey, hey uh, I saw Gordon Ramsay had a line. It was like a three-hour line for for some of his meals. Gene was cooking. You should open up a hey. restaurant in Vegas right now. Oh, Uncle Gene. Uncle Gene, that, get my man a chef's that hat. That was next level. I'm, uh, I'm a little, uh, yeah, I was a little in shock. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little in shock. I didn't know where that poll was going. Uncle Gene. But boy, he tied it I in so in well. Stand 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 applause button for Uncle Gene. Let's go to... Uh, oh, and people want to know on YouTube. Right. Hey, if you're out there, you're driving around, you got to go oh, yeah. to YouTube. We're wearing Cry Eagles oh, yeah. Cry shirts. If you want to get them beat, where could you get these shirts available? 9570game.com. 9570game.com. Go to 9570game.com to no, shop. No, that, that's the wrong. Uh, the the oh. address is, <laughs> oh, uh, let me try. It's a breakingt.com slash 957. So oh. breaking okay. T, just right. the letter T. Okay, if you follow us. Slash 957. I'm sorry. If you follow us on social media, have we posted it yet? Yes, it's on the Twitter. It's on the 957 uh, The Game Twitter page right now. Okay. Go check it out. It's got the picture of you guys singing yeah. Cry Eagles Cry, holding up the shirt. And then uh, it's got the this link and everything. Good. There. This it does. Great material. This it, it is good. good material. It feels good. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in this tonight. Kind of shirts. I'm gonna like sleep it. in this tonight, and maybe I'll send it to the Philly Zoo. How's he doing today? Huh. How's everybody out there in Philadelphia doing? What about that? What about that garbage man that was talking all that smack on the on the local television? Oh my god! Can gosh. we do a welfare check on my yeah, guy? No, these these goodies. Oh man, they're so depressed this morning. I love hey, it. honestly, B, that was one of the great butt kickings in Niner history. Given how good that team was, and I get it. You know, they were tired. They, they look, all that is real. They were missing some players. They're not getting back some of those players. No, they're not. Cunningham's not coming back. No, no, they're not. They're and not. so that was a drubbing. 
That was a beatdown. That was. That was one of the best regular season wins I can remember. One of the great ones was at Veteran Stadium against the Philadelphia Eagles back in the late 80s with Joe Montana throwing the four touchdown passes in the fourth quarter. I think about the New York Giants game, 7-3, Monday Night Football. I think about Jimmy G going to the Superdome. That was a great regular Look, season win. 42. You know? Hey, there was a lot of great regular season wins. That one, we needed it. We needed it because... I'm not going to lie to you. That was personal. Oh, you think? That was personal. Well, that's the thing I came, I came away from. These two teams hate each other. Yeah, they don't like I each don't other I don't want to hear anybody. Well, no. you know, we don't, you know, we, we don't really, it's just football and blah, blah, blah. No, 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 Sirianni hates us. We hate him. The Niners players hate each other. It's, it's, it is, B, did you see the pregame? Oh, With I Bradbury did. Bradbury standing the, the, the there? Bradbury standing there. The Niners walked right through his drill. Drivalk right through walk. his drill. I, Mook, know, dog, Mook Dog is a good. Mook Dog's been a good 49er this year. I was going to say. Mook Dog's been playing. He has. You know what I'm saying? He's I know we, can, a, we hey, talk about a lot. We talk give, a lot about him, but he's given me more than Solomon Thomas ever gave me. And Givens had a quietly sneaky good yeah, game Yeah, they, they play well in the interior. Randy Gregory made play plays. Well. Like, I, the other thing is this. With our linebacking play, as good as it is, who has linebackers in the playoffs like us? Yep. Maybe Dallas? No, they don't have linebackers like us. Because I put Mike no, in the linebacker has, category. Nobody has Drake Greenlaw and Fred Warner. Nobody has it. I mean, uh, Trey Greenlaw, he picked up and suplexed Gainwell early in the game, and I was like, oh, my oh, yeah, God. It's going to be one of those games. Remember what he did to Tony Pollard? <laughs> he did the same thing. Uh, Joe Tess 09 just spent $10. Just spent $10 on the Super Chat before break. We all should have listened oh, to Bonte when he was trying to tell us he, all week not to worry about Debo in these type of games. He's right. Debo stood 10 toes down. You never worry about Debo Samuel. All he's does. All he does is produce for us in the biggest moments in our biggest games over the last five years for Kyle Shanahan. That's why he's paid the way he's paid. That's why George Kittle's paid the way he's paid. And it's why Brandon Ayuk is going to get it back from John Lynch very, very soon.